over and over again, God actually did intercede in in the Old Testament for yep. the people of Israel and said, hey, this way is better. Me being your king, like you following me, existing as, as, as my people is better for you. And they were shown that and they were proven that. And then they continued to go, nah, our way, yeah. our way, our way. And eventually God says, all right, have it your way. Yep. And... And then destruction, destruction occurs yeah, and yeah. destruction and mayhem and, and the deformation of humanity occurs. And so there, it's almost like the question of how can a good God send someone to hell? It's not, I think the way that I'd say it is that it's not that God is sending people to hell. It's that there's a level of, and it's not the perfect word choice. It's hard for me to find the right words for it, but there's a level of, uh, we're already choosing hell now. Yes. That, that there's yes. yeah. that mm-hmm. right now people choose heaven and hell, life or death every single day. And that there's a level of that can continue to happen post death if the soul's eternal. Yes. Like if that's a reality where you have that option. Now, there's a lot of ifs. That's a, uh, there's a big if in that there's statement. A, yeah, there's a lot of ifs. But if the soul maybe is Maybe for eternal. another episode. That, we, yeah. There should be a whole there's episode. There's actually a lot of things yes. that we can't and God, talk about. Yeah. Yeah, and like God's yes. judgment is like, giving you exactly that, like a, a life without him. And, and I, and I'd say that like, um, I'd say that the other point is that it's not so much that a good God sends to hell, because I think what, what we see in Jesus, if Jesus is the full revelation of God, we have to recognize and see that God wants to do everything possible yes. that where he won't transgress human will, that he wants to do everything possible for humanity to not experience hell. Yes. Like, and he's actually done that in himself to the point where he took on not God became like, took that on himself, became a human, became a human and like experienced the full power of our, dis- our choices. Like yeah. we created sin and death. Like we created out of not obeying him reality that wasn't him. And he said, I will take that on experience the fullness of what that is and then defeat it so that people cannot experience that anymore because we were destined for that. Like that's all that we could experience was not God because we had, we were, we, we were in chains. We were enslaved to that reality. But I think that like, that's part of the gospel. And I think that like, Sometimes I think when we were trying to ask the question of like, why does God let this stuff happen? It's like, man, God in scripture has already shown us that he doesn't want that to happen. Like the whole point is that he died and raised you to life and gave you a new way so that you don't have to experience not God, but yet you can actually experience reality where you, where you experience the fullness of what it means to be human and you can be reformed into a reality where you can join God in life, like, uh, and, and not in the destruction that, that we would say is hell's existing apart from him. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you can stay tuned for all of our content.